This is Della, my 81 DeLorean, uh, VIN number 4805 for those interested. I've got her jacked up and put on jack stands because yesterday I rebuilt the brake calipers in it. Pulled the tires off, got the calipers all rebuilt, put it all back together again. Now the brakes are functioning. She was sitting out in storage for about seven years, so the calipers obviously were corroded and scaled up and need to be back need to be cleaned up and put back. So sitting on top of the instruction sheets that I'm going to be using that I pulled off the DMC Talk website that folks have been helping me do. My problem today is my transmission governor computer seems to be messing up. I believe that's what the problem is. I've done some tests and I think that's where we're at. According to the instructions, the first thing I need to do is in this point here, we're going to remove these connections. And one of those connections, or multiples of those connections, will go back into the trans governor, which I will pull. The transmission governor is on the passenger side of the transmission and up in here, way up in there, up underneath. See if I can swing down here and get a picture. There she is. That little rascal right there, that's what we're after. We're going to pull that out and remove it. Once we get that out, we should be able to pull the component box and rebuild it. So, so I removed the two 11 millimeter bolts to hold in the transmission governor, the GC we'll call it from now on, and I've also disconnected the kick down cable. So now you can see the hole that it was in, the two bolts, one on one side is easy to see, the other one's kind of blind, and then the actual governor shaft, the drive shaft itself. The box I'm looking for is here and I'm going to see if I can't access the interior of this box without actually pulling it out from underneath the car. Because if I can, then I can pull it out, fix the boards, and then put it all back. And that way it make it a little bit simple and I'll have to reroute all those cables. But we'll see. The instruction says I need to pull the cables from the top and pull the box off. We'll try it. See what happens. So there sits the for the Gov GC and you can see how it's just pressed on there and the little tabs are just smushed against the box and that's what holds it on there. There's no bolts or anything like that. Now, the other thing that holds it on, it appears that there was some really nice gunky sealant put in there to help do it. But you can see the boards I'm after. Now according to the instructions I should be able to to solder those three wires that go to the governor which is to the left. Get that undone then I should be able to pull it out. There are two transistors there that you see. I suspect that one of them transistor that drives the second gear is the one that's bad and is always staying on or the circuit that drives it is bad and it's always staying on therefore I can never kick in the third because in order to kick in the third they both have to be off so my logic says I can get first and second but I can't get third well when first is on they're both on when you're into second gear one transistor turns off leaving the other transistor on and when you're in third gear the second transistor is supposed to turn off and it kicks up into third in other words everything's off in my case the I'm never getting into third but if I disconnect all the power it then jumps into third so it tells me that in my mind 
that the transistor is bad for drive number two. And but I'm going to replace them both and replace rebuild the pieces once I get it all out. I'm going to desolder those three wires and then see if I can pull them out. And there's supposedly a metal clip. I don't see it. I'm assuming I'm going to have to move all that uh, sealant as well. We'll figure it out. I don't know how long the wires are coming into the boards. Hopefully I'll be able to pull the wires through the cable enough that I can pull those boards out. And then I'll just desolder those and pull those off after, of course, I video and tape the wire. So, hopefully next picture will have the board hanging. So at this point, I have the governor case out. You can see all the silicone, whatever they put around and around the plug. Once I move the all this silicone off, disconnected it, I put my soldering gun against these and pulled them out. So the three main wires that connect in here were disconnected. I was then able to grasp and pull the plug this direction and it slid the two boards and the whole plug wire out of the casing. So now up inside we have the two boards laying there. Sorry it seems to be a little glare but there that's better. And you can see how the casing was there and the two boards. I haven't pulled the boards away from the casing yet. I'm trying to figure out if I could pull the wires out or do I have to spread it still plugged into that casing. I was hoping I'd be able to pull it out far enough that I could get disconnect the wires one way or the other and then just pull the casing out um, to be seen. I'll let you know how that goes here in a little bit. So that's where I'm at now. Next step either get those out or start rebuilding the boards underneath the car. Really don't want to rebuild the boards underneath the car. I think that'd be way difficult. But the casings out, like some of the other people have stated in some of the posts, uh, found a little bit of fluid in mine, but not much. Not very much at all. Probably so it seeks through the seals over the years. This car only has 13,000 miles on it, so it spent a lot of its time sitting, as most of them did. So... Uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, looking at the board, I have two boards. One that I call the transistor board. And from there, it looks like I have a yellow, a red, a green, and a gray, possibly, on that side. And that's on the transistor board. On the other side, I have two yellows. A black and another yellow. Well, crud. I was hoping to figure out a way that I could pull this out, maybe disconnect the wires, desolder them, and then pull the boards out. i got to get the boards out. I really don't want to work on it underneath here. Okay, next step. So at this point, I have pulled the board in and desoldered the bad pieces which are you see back here the bad resistors and transistors and capacitors and I soldered in new transistor here new one here new resistor there new resistor these two resistors here the same uh, ohm rating but I did go to a 2 watt resistor compared to original 1 watt I also replaced this capacitor and this capacitor with tandem capacitors. This one I didn't have for. Doesn't look bad. I'm hoping it'll be okay when I put it back in because I don't have one for it. That's also for the governor drive, so I think it's okay just to help, just kind of helps reduce the spikes a little bit. So now I also went in and cleaned these connections here, these these here, and these here because these are the wires that we need. This is where the wires from the uh, actual computer are going to plug in. So I got those cleaned out. I should be ready to go. Clip the wires, go solder it back in and see what happens.